I've added new functions to version 1.1 of the Forced Break program. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't come here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, I think it's important for me to tell you this. Hmm. Huh. I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. It's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. You could offer to listen to their problems or give them some advice. I see. We'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yuita? What? I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent-up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. I don't know where to start. Like my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. I understand your confusion. Although I can understand why the Chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? I would, but he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. For better or worse, he's still a child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty cool, right? No, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. You really are so much like him. Late again, but it's fine. I forgive you. Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? I have some things to say about the way you fight. The way I fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. You're no longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. So he calls me here to criticize me? What the hell is he thinking? Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. That was advice? Sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. Thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. 
Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He can't stop with the insults. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Back to the subject. I told you to read your enemy's movements, but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. Instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. Unfortunately, you lack both right now. It's a miracle you're still alive. <laughs> was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me, even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. <sighs> if you don't like it, you have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin or whatever. What's cute about such a weird little thing? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not packin. That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice. It was just nagging and insults. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Fine. What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up. What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Oh, Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining... You know, the suspicious secrets and inhumane experiments? Just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment. Finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was. But you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? 
It's because you... I what? N nothing I'll try thinking about it some more. Okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids. So it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything. But I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. Hey, Gamma, are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? <sighs> Gamma? Hmm? Sorry, I was just thinking. Is something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Yeah, but children of the state face a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication, but the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left, but after a while he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. Hmm. I decided to distance myself from him, so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, that was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. <laughs> I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. Maybe I pushed him away when he needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. Then try messaging him. Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him if he's safe. Maybe he's just waiting for you to contact him. You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. <sighs> There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. <sighs> There's no way for us to know. 
Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah, that's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. Yeah. Why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more I can do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF? So information that can't be found through official channels. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks, Wataru. I hope we find a lead on Gemma's friend. Gemma, have you gotten a little bigger? Hmm, huh, have I? My training has been going well lately. Wow, did you have a change of heart or something? It's a little embarrassing, but I don't want you to get better than me. You can laugh at me for being a silly old man. How have you been feeling lately, Yuito? I'm feeling great. Thanks for asking. Of course. Make sure to rest when you need it. Part of being OSF is taking care of your body. See you around. Are you going to work out now? Yes, my daily routine. Would you like to join me? Light exercise is good for maintaining your health. You're right. Okay, I'll work out with you. Maybe you can make a training program for me. I would be happy to. I promise to make the program that best suits your body type and fighting style. Great, thanks. Ugh, I'm beat. I'm so thirsty. Do you want some water, Luca? <sighs> no, you should drink it. I have this. What is that? A special protein drink that I concocted. It's best to drink it within 45 minutes of exercising. I've never had one. Is it good? I made it strawberry flavored, so it's easy to drink. The intake of protein is essential for building muscle. Not only do you work out, you even worry about your nutrition. That's amazing. Protein is well known to people who like exercise. It's nothing to be surprised about. It's not just that. The program you just went through was pretty hard. You're really stoic about it. Why do you want to train so much? Well, because I'm small. When compared to those around me, I'm always at a strength disadvantage. So I want to do all I can to lessen that disadvantage. A strength disadvantage? But why does that matter? There's almost no one as good as you in a real fight. You are a Septentrion, and you have top-class strength when it comes to a fight with powers. I do not want to rely solely on my power. Why not? You have an amazing one. I don't see the problem in relying on it. Let me put it another way. Power is something you are born with. It cannot easily be changed. However, 
Muscles are different. The harder you work, the stronger they become. Isn't that amazing? Huh. Um... I guess it does seem pretty amazing, maybe. Yes, you're beginning to understand. Also, my brother is always ahead of me. No matter how much praise I get, I can never equal him. That makes me want to work hard. I see. I definitely understand that. Thank you for saying so. Since you are here, I'll tell you my secret. What is it? Wait just a moment. This is the backpack you always wear. Oh, that's heavy. What's in this? I've made adjustments to my daily routine to train my muscles. I have weights inside my clothes as well. You call them adjustments, but it sounds like torture to me. These extreme methods might be the secret to his strength. Will you put some weights in my clothes too? Of course. They are custom made to be removable. So I will put this here, and there you are. Great. Now I'll try to walk. Whoa! Oh, my body is swaying just from moving a little. <laughs> it's not very heavy, but it will be difficult until you are used to using your core. You can borrow them if you like. Now, I'll do another set. You can keep going? Yes, I still have a lot left to do. You can take a rest if you are tired. That's a Septentrion for you. I can't believe he always wears weights. But there's something kind of desperate about the way he's exercising. I feel like he's pushing himself too hard. Can he really handle it? I never expected you to be so odd, Yuito. Huh? Really? I thought I was pretty normal. What is normal in the OSF is not what most people call normal. It's very intriguing. I think I'm starting to understand you a little better. Really? I'm so happy to hear you say that. Yuito, this is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? This isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Is something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh. You could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I failed to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. 
It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca. Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word. No matter what. You're working very hard, Yuito. You think so? Thanks. <laughs> You're gentle, earnest, and straightforward. It makes me a little jealous. I can't be like you, and I don't have to. But I still recognize your good qualities. same thing. I think we can be better friends. <laughs> 